Can you talk us through the implications of no deal versus a, a sort of thin deal, perhaps? Well, I mean, the first thing I'll say is uh, I've got a degree of respect for what Julia said, because it was there is a political principle. If there's an economic price to be paid, I will pay it. That's absolutely fine. What frustrates me about the debate around Brexit at the moment is many people who say we can leave with no deal and it won't have consequences. That's simply not true. It has enormous consequences. Even leaving with a deal has consequences because it will affect our trade. Without a deal, it means everything from checks to tariffs, which means price rises for many foodstuffs coming from the continent. It will mean bigger tailbacks than in the event of a deal. Uh, it will have a very profound impact on how our economy works, how easy it is to trade with the European Union. Now, going back to Julie, if you say, ultimately, I want to be sovereign, and by sovereign, I mean they can't tell me what to do, and I'll pay the price, that's absolutely fine. But, I mean, one of the things that was striking to me was when the Chancellor made his statement recently. Even though the OBR documents he drew on talked about a 4% impact on the economy of Brexit with a deal, plus 2% more if we have no deal, chose not to mention Brexit at all. And I would have thought that if you were planning for something this big, and let's face it, it's got to be big, otherwise it wouldn't have been worth the hassle. If you were planning for something this big, the government would say, OK, here are the impacts, this is what's going to happen, this is how we're going to prepare, and ultimately it will be worth it. But there's no planning, there's no preparation, and that I find mystifying.